has finally made a statement regarding the state of the console edition of Rust. And unfortunately, while you think that might be a good thing, it isn't. Because this statement is not good in my opinion. So first off, if you're looking for a recap of everything because you didn't hit subscribe to this channel and you have no idea what's going on, I'm going to give it to you in about 20 seconds. So those of you who have been following the channel, please just jump ahead 20 seconds starting now. So here's what happened. D11 released a patch and the patch was supposed to fix a few bugs. Unfortunately, that patch introduced way more than it fixed. And now we're stuck with a bug that makes explosives not go boom. PvP isn't that great, and you can't even respawn all the time. Sometimes you die and just can't come back from the dead. You gotta close the game and get back into it. But with silent explosions, PvP being broken, and not even being able to log into your sleeping bag some of the time, D11 has issued a statement regarding this patch and how they plan to go about fixing it, so I'm going to read the statement off of Discord. Hello at everyone. How have you all been? I missed you last week. So basically the PR department or the PR guy, the head of PR for D11 or for the console edition Rust was on vacation. And what happened in the meantime was they decided to YOLO it with the patch. So here's what we've got. I come bringing news about Rust console edition. The team heard you loud and clear, and they have been working hard on the next patch. The aim is to fix the worst issues in game so everyone can have the best experience possible. And right here, I'd like to stop and just note that they're saying the best experience possible, but like, are, are we even getting close to a decent experience at the moment? Like a lot of stuff is broken that's really key to the game. This is a bit like going into Chuck E. Cheese, having a mouse kick you in the balls, and then Chuck E. Cheese says, well, we did try to give you the best experience possible and this is what you ended up with it, it's uh, it, yeah anyways i'm moving on naturally some issues will have higher priority than others depending on how often they occur and how much they impact gameplay but we will also tackle as much as possible please be sure to check the hashtag known bugs form and if you are experiencing one that is not yet there, be sure to report it to me or one of the other mods. The bug fix update will be tested soon on PTB, and if everything is okay, we will then push it to the main branch. Hope you all have a good week. See you around. So that's the, that's the statement from D11. They're not going to do a hot patch, and they're not going to roll back this bug or these bugs that have been plaguing everybody. They're just going to keep pushing forward, and they're not even saying we're going to fix all of the bugs we introduced. They're just saying we're going to fix some of them. So at this point, we might be stuck with silent explosives. We might not have C4 making any noise. We might have satchel charges sometimes disappearing into walls and being unable to be picked up we might end up in a situation where every time you die you might not be able to respawn and while that doesn't seem too bad if you're on a server that isn't full pop if you're on a server that is full population you've just got to wait for someone to leave and luckily because this bug is so prevalent that actually happens quite often so hey you can run through a 30 q server in under 20 minutes that's something the pc edition of rust doesn't have but it's for a good reason anyways yeah, that, that's that's where we stand. I was a little bit disappointed in this. I expected there to be a bug. I, I expected there to be a rollback, honestly, last week or early this week. And when that didn't happen, I was expecting it to be at least by the end of the week. Like, they'd have a patch update. They'd have something for us. But right now, we're going into Friday, and it looks like that just isn't going to happen. So we're stuck with Crust. And I say Crust because, that the uh, you know, console Rust and Crust, like, it just fits right now. We're just stuck with this. We're stuck with the game being in this state, and I, I don't know what to do about it. Are you guys going to keep playing Rust, or is this the end for you? Let me know down below in the comments. Sorry for the bad news, but it's what I've got to talk about. So until next time, peace.